Hey everybody, this is Tambiota. Thanks so much for joining me here on Tambiota's Review. Today, I have for you from Mega Constructs. This is series number four, Heroes, Masters of the Universe, Evil In. All right, now you can see uh, Evil In in the packaging right here. So this is uh, definitely a repaint of Tila. Uh, along with a different weapon and a different head sculpt. So we'll uh, we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison a little bit later in the review. But uh, here you can see the packaging. We have uh, Evelyn right here. Nice large picture of her. And then the other figures that are in the uh, in the series. So All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this figure open so we can check her out. All right, so we're back. And here we have Evelyn. Out of the packaging. Uh, now she does come with her instructions and folded a little differently than everything else. So but here's our instructions. Here's all of her pieces and how they all go together. We'll have to keep reference on how this stuff goes together on her. Uh, yeah, that, that looks like that's pretty easy. Okie dokie. Alrighty then. And then, uh, yeah, other figures in the way. So. All right, and uh, so let's put her base together real quickly. So first of all, you want to take this piece right here. And as you can see, if, if you watched my video yesterday, uh, you can see this base is a lot shinier than, uh, than Man-at-Arms. Here, look, I'll bring in Man-at-Arms. And see how dull that is or how uh, clouded that is? Yeah, it makes me believe that something happened in the process with the stamp. So then uh, you take this piece, put that there. Come on. All right. Now, her color reminds me very much of like a Simpsons yellow. So now uh, for the uh, the staff, the way that we need to put this together is uh, take this cone shape and we'll start tabbing these pieces into that. And then you wanna get this crystal ball and put that on top of here. Like that, just push that down into there. Just, just checking the paint apps on here, making sure it looks all. And then take this and we'll just jam that up in there like that. And so she's got her, her little staff that in her hand. Come on. There we go. She looks pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. Now there is an issue on mine. Uh, whenever I actually got it in the packaging, the arms were backwards. They were actually like this, you know, in the, the hands were flipped the right way. They were flipped like this and I was like, this looks weird. Something looks wrong. So I flipped it around and flipped it back this way and then noticed that some of the paint is already chipping off on the arms. So that's kind of a disappointment. And then the, the eyes don't look as well as they probably should. Probably get in there and put in a, a black mark for the pupil or something. It's something. Something just looks like it's missing in there. But everything else looks fine on her. Uh, now, let's bring in Tila because she is a um, uh, basically a repaint of Tila. And as you can see, very much everything's the same except for the, uh, are the boots the same? Yeah, it looks like the boots are the same also. Uh, the only thing that's different is the head sculpt. So you have a different accessory. Uh, her, her little armbands are the same on her shoulders or her her upper calves or I don't know what you call that bicep so yeah, that's the only real difference is the head so uh, now something that I think if I'm remembering correctly uh, there is an issue with this if they're trying to make it toy accurate uh, she's not supposed to have this little piece right here it's actually supposed to be 
I guess you I guess you could say a, a bikini bottom where there's not supposed to be a covering over the uh, over the front area right here uh, but it's okay it, it's not uh, it's not that bad since they basically we know that all they did was they just took this figure and repainted it so all right so the articulation on her is going to be the same as every other figure you have a ball joint here on the neck you have two different joints for the arms to move it forward and back and out to the side uh, you can have a twist at the elbow you have the elbow joint you have a wrist movement a little bit of a wrist movement there you go uh, you have the hip or the waist then the hips right, coming up to here forward and back a little bit out to the side and then your knee so So I'm looking forward to uh, Wave 5 coming out. Hopefully that'll come out sometime soon. But more than likely, it probably won't come out until probably next year. So. All right. Well, that's going to go ahead and do it for this video review of Evil Lynn. If you did enjoy this, would you please give us some thumbs ups? Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, you can go ahead and do that right over there. And one last thing. If you'd like to watch another video, you can do that here or here. All right, once again, thank you very much for watching. This is Tambiota. I'll see you guys tomorrow.